Eddie Clone, EC Details. Listen, I'm super stoked to tell you this. I have been working with Fine Labs to redo the rinse list. Not because I'm the rinse list guy, because we have Ivan for that, right? But because they trust my judgment. With that said, they are redoing it. So shout out to Melissa, shout out to Philip from Fine Lab, stellar company. Because instead of getting upset, calling me a pet, they're like, hey, how can we improve? And ask me for my insight. That sparked something beautiful. It gave me the ability to actually test some of the new things coming out. And this is one of those things that I'm super excited to talk about. Introduce you to something brand new on the market, hasn't been out yet, kind of like an un unboxing situation, like this is the new iPhone for detailers. This is the Fine Mac version two, 21 miller, miller throw, millimeter, millimeter? 21 mm six inch pad throw polisher. You're like, Eddie, it is just, all they did was white label shine me. Um, no, they didn't. They didn't white label shine me. They didn't white label something else. They used the shell on the first version. You can see the picture here. With a generic shell, but then spec the highest quality motor that we could and all the other mechanical parts. For example, the bearings are, are Japanese NSK, the best bearings that we could spec. The motor is uh, Taiwanese made. Uh, the cord is, is a very nice silicon elastic type cord. So we really, we try to make the best machine that we could without really going too far with the customization of the shell and the design of it. Just see if we could sort of test the market. So that's what we've come up, we're calling it the uh, fire. This is a shell, the rest of it are components that he sourced to make one of the best polishers on the market, sold out. But they didn't stop there, they were like, look, we can make it better. They took feedback from all these detailers and they made this. So I'm gonna show you the unboxing here, watch this out. This is the Fine Mech version two, Let's go through the boxing unboxing experience. Look, Fine Labs does a lot of things amazing and their box, their unboxing experience is phenomenal. So, so this is the new Fine Mech. So in the box, you get, you know, your user manuals and crap, extra brushes, put that away. You get this baby, this. You see that? It is their new polisher. Everything is custom. It smells amazing, by the way. It smells expensive. This is their own design. They went with NSK bearings, Japanese bearings in the front, so you can see the backing plate spin. This polisher. It is their colors. So they made it to match their own colorway, which is pretty dope. Lori, this is a 29 foot cable. The cable itself is crazy. What do you mean it's crazy? We are used to buying non rupus polishers that their cable is trash. Let me just say, uh, MacShine, you make a good polisher for cheap. So if you're starting out, uh, shout out to MacShine, you could buy one for cheap. The cable feels cheap. Some of the components on it feel cheap, but this feels better than my Rupes. Look, it's a rubber cable. It's 110 volt and it's long. Look how pliable that is. And you're going around the machine, you have two options. You have cordless, which cordless have come a long way, or you have the diehards like myself that I like to cord it up. The cable's amazing. And then we're gonna plug it in. I'm gonna show you how it sounds. The trigger feels progressive. So it's a progressive start. Uh, they have a button right here. So you can press it in and button and press it in and lock it, lock it in. Real nice, real nice. The weight, it feels, the it's not heavy. Um, ooh, smell test, smells crisp. Let's plug her in, let's get to work and let's try it. We're gonna do a sound test for you. Three, four, five, six. That, that is insane. You see that? millimeter that I've ever used does have some vibration. The cable itself is impressive to me because now I don't have to freaking get the cable off the wall, plug it in, go around the car, unplug it, go around the, I could go around my whole shot with this. This will reach from one side to the other. Enough talk. Let me show you how it works on the truck. Use my blue HDO, which huge fan, huge fan of the HDO blue, freaking huge fan. White, white foam pad. Look at that. What, what's to say? Oh, what, what, what? And then for the compounds to keep 
for the compounds to keep it neutral. I'm using old brick, no, old brick, and old brick supreme cut. Um, and we're gonna do this section. So I'm gonna show you what the paint looks like. It is not good. The paint is real bad. Look at that. I want you to see all those scratches from this position. Let me, from here, you can see we have a bunch of scratches all over the paint. I separated the panel right here. We're gonna cut this. Look at that, baby. Look at that. You're like, Eddie, it's a polisher, bro. I'm a polisher fanatic. Look at that bad boy. It's looking crispy. And then we're gonna do this section. I am gonna use first step. Uh, and the reason I use Supreme Cut is I like the abrasives of it, and it does cut it. It does, I like the abrasives. And what the abrasives does in this instance, it's going to cut for me, but also finish down nice. So maybe I can get away with one step. I'll put one dab, one dab, one dab, one dab, like that. See, like that. And we're going to start. So I always start with a two. Go to four and a half. Oh, uh, so far I'm loving how the tool works on the curve. There's a curve here, there's no stall. I'm barely putting any pressure. Look, no cap, scale one to 10, okay? One to 10 on how it felt in the hands, right? How, what scale one to 10, how I felt in hands? It felt like my wife was caressing me on the wedding night. Listen guys, it's not vulgar if you love her. You know what I'm saying? This polisher, magic. On number four, it was smooth, right? The noise, the sound isn't loud at all. I'm not mad at it, it sounds real good. Now look at this right here, right here. So I'm gonna take my paint reader I want you to and you can see it removed almost all the scratches so that's the route I am going do you see that now I'll show you on this panel here so you can see what I'm talking about you can see it on this panel all those scratches all those scratches and if we look at this panel here it took the majority away almost all of it so that's where we're at. I'm not gonna go any aggr more aggressive on that. This is soft paint. You don't need a lot. Old Burke did good work. This is not a compound video for a good compound. Old Burke. Hey, I'm in church, I'm yelling, amen, God bless. Old Burke, get it. I'm a fanboy. How much did they pay you, Eddie? I'm still eating ramen for dinner, guys. They didn't pay me a gosh darn thing. They didn't pay me crap. They did send me the machine. And I did tell them, hey, sir, I intend to be honest. Because, you know, the world without honesty is, you know, the current. <laughs> we'll, stop, we'll stop there. I need subscribe. Hey, subscribe, by the way. If you like this video, subscribe. All right. Let's get this going. I'm going to add one more. Remember, I'm using the white pad from Owner's Pride. Some old brick. Some old brick. Now I'm gonna take this corner. It doesn't stop spinning. Man, it is smooth. And it's got a lot of power too. It has got a lot of power. I did, look, I did add pressure to the pad to see if I could stall it. Still spinning, by the way, still spinning. I did put pressure on the pad to see if I could see some, some scratches and stuff, right? This part didn't have as much damage as this part. That's too much compound, but this is not a tutorial on how to polish. And then you're just gonna take it easy. The dope. Yep, perfect, 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 perfect. Basically, I took almost every single scratch out with a blue pad Oberg and a new smooth machine. Cable is amazing. Uh, the way it works, the angles, it's awesome. I'm really loving this polisher. Now, I did an unboxing for you, like Eddie only did one car. 
I actually tried to be, <laughs> before I wanted to give you that MKHB kind of experience where you saw it first here, but I've been using the polisher and I'm in love with this polisher, in love. Right here, with this beast. It's as good looking as I am. If you're in the market for a dope polisher, finelab.com, pick you one of these fine mechs before they sell out for $308. Like, what? You guys go out to eat more than a week. For $308, get yourself a premium product that was designed from the ground up with the best components, the cable, the trigger, the motor, the backing plate, the bearings, all top of the line. Do yourself a favor, save your pennies, pick one of these up, because I'm telling you right now, probably one of the best polishers in 2023, just my opinion, my opinion. Shout out to Fine Lash for sending me this. Uh, thank you so much, I appreciate it. A dope polisher for all you's watching. Appreciate you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't yet, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'm gonna see you next time. I'm gonna finish polishing this beast because dude's picking up in the morning. I'm out.